Hey everybody, welcome back. In this video, we fix a broken heated jacket and make it work again. If you've bought something heated in the past and it went bad long before it should, stick around because I'm gonna show you how I fixed this heated jacket for 17 to $20. Hey everybody, welcome back. As you can see, this heated jacket is now working. That wasn't the case about five days ago. This video took place across the span of about a week, week and a half. It was a project I've been putting off forever because I knew it was gonna be a lot of work, but wasn't gonna cost a lot of money. The work aspect and the fact that I am horrible at sewing really just was off-putting to me. But I got it done and I'm extremely happy with the outcome. I got this almost $300 jacket working as intended and this thing went bad on me in a year. I only got one year of use out of this thing. I was super frustrated. I put it in the closet and I just never wore it again. So if this happened to you with any heated product, it doesn't matter what brand it is, they all go bad eventually. I fixed this for about $25. I will have the link in the description below for the exact heating pads that I got. There's different combinations. You don't have to get the kind I got. The kind I got had eight heating pads on it. I ended up snipping a few of them off because you can do that. Just seal any of the wiring up with um, some sort of a silicone based item or heat shrink to keep water intrusion out because you do want to keep this machine washable. Anyways, that'll be in the link below, and I'll show a quick screenshot here of what I bought. So those are the heating pads. They are comparable to what I brought out of this. The ones that came out were a little heavier duty style. The actual heating coils you can see better versus what I put in here. Now, before I get too carried away, this video is a lot different than what I normally do. But I'm always doing stuff like this, repairs, reviews, etc. If I think it's going to help you, I'm going to share it on this channel. So don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up icon if this video helps you out. Not only does it help you, because then you don't miss future videos that I upload, it also helps me, because without you, this channel can't grow. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button before we move forward. Alright, now that we got that out of the way, let's get into how I repaired this jacket how I went about it, what my plan was, and how I executed it. So the very first thing I did was I took a seam ripper and I ripped all the stitching for the old heating pads, removed everything, including the old power switch. Then I started by placing the new power switch with all the heating pads connected in the old power switch's location. It was the same size. All it had to do was get sewn in. And I opted to sew that in by hand because it's really hard to get a sewing machine up by that power plug in. And this particular jacket has a very nice access zipper at the bottom so you can get to all the wiring. After I got the power button sewn in to my liking, I was sure it wasn't gonna go anywhere, multiple hand stitch jobs. Then I moved down to the pad to the chest heating pad that is closest to the button because I knew that would be the most wiring. Same thing, hard to get a sewing machine in there. So I opted to hand stitch that in also. Heavy stitching on all four corners. That's all I bothered to do with both chest pieces. So then after I got those two done, I stopped and regrouped and I laid out the replacement heating pads in this. This is exactly how they're in there right now. I laid them out, put the other chest piece over, made sure the wires were gonna be long enough because there's different length wires for the different heating pads. Laid it out, got a good idea. Then I put them all back inside the jacket and I used those little needles with the pin heads on them to keep them in place. Then, for the center piece, I opted to sew those in very carefully around the edge, 
not hitting any wires. These wires are a bear and you really gotta keep an eye on them. Once those were done, I finished with the chest piece and also hand stitched that one in, heavy stitching on all four corners, just like this chest piece. Once I was done with that, as I stated, I snipped the extra heating pads out, which you can do. You just wanna make sure you seal them off if you want this to remain machine washable. So in a nutshell, in a super condensed version, that is how I fixed this heated jacket. All right, everybody, thank you again for watching. I hope this video helped you out and gave you a good idea of how I went about repairing my heated jacket. If your heated items have gone bad, it isn't the end of the world. They are repairable. It's just gonna take some patience and a little bit of hard work. But if you go this route, not very much money. I hope it helped you. As you can see, it is working. Don't forget hit that subscribe button because I do stuff like this all the time. And I will see you in the next video. Please subscribe to my dad's channel.